Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back. It's still Saturday. So this is part two, if you will. Ah, I had my breakfast. Ooh, oh, I hate my dentist. Sorry. Um, what did I have for breakfast? My latest uh, breakfast obsession is I make my, of course, I buy this by the case. Um, I have incense burning. Hold on. I really should get out the stuff I, I bought from iHerb. This was a new incense. I'm burning it right now. It's just about finished though. I'm a little neutral on that one. Um, let me see if I can get, I wonder if I have everything that I got. Hold on one second, okay? Just hold on. Um, everything else I got because it's what Amy told me about. Um, see, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but everybody talks about this Walden Farm syrup. So I got this, it was funny, okay, so I had seen everybody on you, uh, YouTube, everybody on um, Instagram always had this thing up, I herb code, and I'm like, what's I herb? Are people buying herbs? I don't know if you say, <laughs> do you, you, you normally say herbs, but it sounds funny to say I herb, so I'm saying I herb, whatever, that's the website. Uh, I'll put the link down below, as well as my coupon code, because I think, I could be wrong, I think the only way you can buy on iHerb, iHerb is with a coupon code. You get $10 off your first um, $40 or more purchase. And the funny thing is I was using you know, a discount code someone gave me and I'm putting all this stuff in my, um, in my uh, shopping bag, whatever, shopping cart. And I was looking at the total, I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna get this up to $40? The prices are really good. But I think it was Amy Burford that was telling me about this stuff. Um, and that, I, and then I've seen a lot on Instagram where people are using this on top of their mug cakes or protein cake, protein pancakes and stuff. So I wanted to try that. I also got incense, two kinds of incense. I got, um, they're actually in that cabinet, which I'm not going to show you because it's not clean enough for my liking. Um, Quest bars, they have really good prices on Quest bars. Um, so I got Quest bars as well as um, Yogi tea which I have heard a lot about, but I wanted to try. I've had a lot of ladies telling me that that yogi tea is great for around when Aunt Flo shows up that time. And also I got the bedtime tea. Now, what I need to do is play around with my mind and have that yogi bedtime tea and maybe not take my Excedrin PM and see if it works. Um, <clears throat> what else did I get? I got the syrup, I got the bars, I got the incense. Um, I love this song. Anyway, so I'll put the code down below so you can get $10 off your first um, $40 purchase or more. But the cool thing is, now I know why everybody talks about it because when you refer people, like when I refer you guys, you make a purchase, I get a percentage back, like a commission. Um, they have like the same kind of stuff that you'd find on most online retailers, but then they have this uh, marketing budget where they pay folks for referrals, which is just smart. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about, um, really quick though, about egg whites. Funny thing is, I think I've shared this like in a long ago um, vlog, but I remember one of my friends on Facebook, one of what I call my, my business friends, right? Like I have my fitfluential like blogger friends, and then I have all of my corporate friends, right? That. Um, you know, when I was in, in a regular job, not the CEO job that I have, <clears throat> you know, I know these people, they work at agencies, they work at brands and so on, but a lot of them that are trying to start down uh, a better health road will say, you know, I don't know how you eat the stuff you eat. There's no way I can ever eat egg whites. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't until last year, really. If you would have told me to make egg whites and that I would enjoy it, I would have been like, if I go to, for example, we were in the Arnold, um, the hotel had a breakfast buffet and they had scrambled eggs, but they also had scrambled egg whites. If I get egg whites at a restaurant and they're scrambled, they're just, it's kind of like having 
just some, it, it's like solid nothing. There's no flavor in it and they're kind of just mushy and gross. The way that I make these, I'm not lying to you. I almost have to convince myself to make regular eggs. Now, that said, what appeals to me about regular eggs, and I get the Eglin's Best organic, it's in my fridge, um, is when I want the runny yolk kind of a thing. You can't make that with this. But what I like and what that loser that I used to know last year taught me is I take this, you can use any carton egg whites, right? And you pour it in a bowl, so I pour about, I think it's a cup, maybe? Is that what a serving size is? Uh, yeah, I think the way I've measured it is a cup would have 20 grams of protein, if I'm doing that right. So about a cup. I put pepper in it, garlic salt, that's it. But you take a fork, and not a wire whisk, for some reason, a fork works better, and I just whip it up really fast. So I'm whipping it, not like I'm trying to make it into a souffle or anything, but whipping it up like that and then putting it in the pan and letting it just sit. So you're not scrambling the eggs, you, you let it sit. And then I'll do some of the um, the canned, not canned, you know what I'm saying. It's in the fridge, the Parmesan cheese, the, the sprinkle cheese. I'll put, I'll sprinkle some of that on the top. Again, you're, you're almost doing like an omelet approach. Let it get all like a pancake on the bottom. I sprinkle a little bit of that Parmesan cheese on the top. You don't need a lot to get a ton of flavor. I think like two tablespoons is 50 calories. I could be wrong. Um, but of course I record it all on my fitness pal so I can watch my macros. Oh, I'm getting di digression, I know. Diversion, I can't pay attention. Then you flip the, uh, your egg pancake essentially, right? And I sprinkle a little bit more on top. That is the best way. So it literally becomes like a pancake. It is the freaking best tasting thing ever. Now, my latest obsession for breakfast is I toast two pieces of Ezekiel bread and make turkey bacon. And then I take, I don't take all of the eggs, so I'll have a big pan of eggs, right, that are in, made into like a pancake. I take my Ezekiel bread, yes, I use butter spray, put some butter spray on it. Then I put my turkey bacon. I actually like turkey bacon versus regular bacon. Go figure. And I like it really, really crisp. I don't like it where it's mushy at all. I like it crisp. Didn't you like that little demonstration? Not wavy, crisp. That's my way of saying it. And I put the bacon down and then I, I cut a slice, which is like usually a fourth, maybe a half of that pancake. Put it on top and I make a sandwich. It's so brilliant. Now, then what I tend to do, it depends on how much I've kicked butt in my workout in the morning. So I have the rest of the pan of eggs. I'm not even lying, guys, and I'm not being paid to say this by all whites, although I clearly should be. Um, I leave that, um, the eggs, some, sometimes, you know, I'll go and I'll get my shower and I'll start working, you know, if I've got a meeting or whatever. I will even come back out here and eat the, the eggs later. They're that good tasting, I'm not lying. So easily, no doubt, like say I was working in an office or something, that could be something I'd make and maybe have half for breakfast. The reason I'm saying half half and half half later, I'm not trying to say, oh, you know, eat less. I'm just saying sometimes when I have that sandwich, the way I have it with the, you know, the egg and the, the turkey bacon on Ezekiel bread, I'm telling you, it's like a, an addiction. It's so yummy. Um, and I have some left over. I could easily put that, you guys have seen one of the other things I'm obsessed with is that whole like egg Mexican version salad thing I'm making. Follow me on Instagram, I put up the little video. So then I already got my eggs made. I'll heat them up and throw them on top of that salad. So then it'll be lettuce on the bottom, the uh, organic black beans and Rotel mixed together, the egg on top, and then depending on my macros and the fat that I'm consuming that day, I might put half of an avocado mixed with salt and pepper and salsa on top. Then I'll top it off with tomatoes and green onions and it is brilliant. But all I'm telling you is, one of the things that like I will say right now, if you tried to get me to eat a piece of tilapia right now, I would probably vomit on myself. I enjoy the taste of egg whites, the way I make them. Eating them at a restaurant, not so much. But a lot of people write me and go, I couldn't eat that crap you eat. Chris, you know I'm talking about you. He wrote me and he's like, Kelly, I am never gonna like egg whites. If you have egg whites the way I make them, come on over to my house, make an appointment, I'll cook for you, depending on what you do back for me, amazon.com wish list, just throw that out there. It is my birthday on April 2nd. <laughs> anyway, it's really, really yummy. So, 
Now, what I decided to talk to you about 10 minutes ago was some of my training and um, the kind of happy place I'm in with my training, but also my big, big focus for me, and I should have brought my calendar that's in the other room that I'm using as a visual. Should I go get it for you? Yes, I think I will, actually. I hope you're not mad, I'll be right back. Just wait one second. This is really a good visual, we will show you. I hope you understand. Okay, so I talked about in one of my last videos how even 10 years ago or whatever, one of the things that really helped me was just, you know, I just bought a funny calendar at Walmart. This probably cost me like five bucks. But after I would, and this is back at, before I got married, um, at my old house in Crystal Lake. And I remember I would work out in my bedroom. I had a huge, huge bedroom back then, plenty of room. So I do my workouts with, back then it was like the firm workouts, and I think maybe I just discovered Kathy. But I put up a calendar right inside of my bedroom closet because that's where I'd go. My hamper was in there, and I would dump my workout clothes in there. But I would record, just like I started doing again, like this, okay? So, and I'm using the same visuals I did back then. But um, I don't know if you could see the way that I do it. See? Um, so I record, like in the morning, you, I, you guys know I like to do my cardio. I put cardio up there, I put, you know, uh, a range of one to five stars. So five stars would be like a workout that I'm thinking that was so awesome, total sweat fast, blah, blah, blah. And then I put how many calories I burned. Again, I'm not shooting for any specific calorie burn. This is more so retrospectively I can look back and go, okay, you know, how long did it take me to reach my goal and what... What kind of activity was I doing? Because trust me, it's very helpful. When you don't record and then you're trying to go by memory or if you're trying to look up on your blog like I used to and go over years or months of stuff, yeah, not so much. Um, now, one of the things that is also, you guys, I've told you that what, why I resurrected doing the calendar this way is, you know, when I go on a business trip and sometimes I've screwed up on a business trip, see how I wrote this for Atlanta? I put it, I was in Atlanta and I got no sleep. Now I specifically remember what I did that trip. A, it was cold, never as cold in Atlanta, but I couldn't run because I hadn't met with Victor yet. So I didn't know, I couldn't do any like running outside. They had a gym close, but that was like right after they had that huge ice storm. And that whole week, it was a lot of things mixed together, but that whole week, um, because Atlanteans, if that's how they say it, um, for them it was cold, it was like 50 degrees. So Laura and Stu, where I stay, they had their heat on. And at night, I could not sleep. It was really, really hot. Usually when I'm visiting my friends in Atlanta, they'll have the air conditioning on. So at night, I could sleep fine. But I was a guest in their home and I really, you know, couldn't, I did not get any sleep. And so when I don't get any sleep, and I had a lot of early meetings and late meetings that week, I got nothing done. It's important for me to write that down though, because then, you know, as I'm looking at the whole month, I'm like, wow, you know, and then I look here on the 20th, I had a sick day for whatever reason. I was sick that day. That's not when I got the food poisoning or was it? Oh, I got the food. Po oh, I did. See, I put when I got the food poisoning. <laughs> so I came home from Atlanta and then I got food poisoning, but it was the 10th that I started working out again, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, remember I said in my last video, damn, here I am almost at 14 minutes. This is very helpful for me to have a visual so that every single time I'm going to record my workouts and then what I do is I kind of divide the day into two. I'll write down my cardio in the morning and it, it, it depends. I might do yoga that night or what I might do is, you know, like next week, I might start going to the gym and doing um, what I used to do. Maybe four times a week I'll do cardio and isolation training at the gym. And then there might be some other days where I work out at home and I do cardio in the morning, yoga at night. But I, I put the little slash there for, this is what I did in the morning, this is how many calories I burned, how did I rate it, one to five. And you know, then I'm recording things like, was I sick, whatever, did I have a full off day, you know? And so then I told you guys on one of my last videos, one of the things I noticed is, let's look at the first two months. It's always good to look at each quarter. You know, because otherwise, 
If you don't start, you know, chunking it down and, and looking, okay, what am I doing the first quarter? Pretty soon a week can turn into a month and a month can turn into several months and then it's the end of the year and you're like, I don't understand. It's always helping me to chunk things down. Oh, I shouldn't be happy about R. Kelly. He's a horrible person. Um, anyway, one of the things I realized, and I said this in my last videos, is I was looking back at January and February, and again, understanding myself, I realized that as much as I freaking love training with weights, that's, I don't want to say it's my favorite thing because I really love cardio and I really love yoga. The number one thing that I tend to, it's kind of like I figure out about my eating habits, I tend to always get my cardio in. And it's easy for me to get my cardio in because it has tended to become a habit for me last year that I get up and that's the first thing I do. So there's never a question with me usually getting my cardio in. A, because I do it in the morning, and B, because I enjoy it. What, what happens to be a tendency, which is what I'm now doing, I'm gonna show you about this in a minute, to conquer that is, you know, the week will go by and I'll, I'll have the intention, whether it's in Atlanta or on another business trip where I pack all my stuff and I say I'm gonna do this, is I get to the end of the day, I'm running a business, people, it's very stressful. Sometimes I get to seven or eight o'clock at night, or sometimes I have to hop on a Twitter chat and it's nine. Do you think I feel like busting out the weights right then? It's not in my past, it's not gonna happen. So what tends to suffer has been my weight training, which is kind of crazy because I love it. But it also suffers because in my mind, I'm not tracking it as much. I need to cut this video short and you guys need to watch the next one because I really, it's 16 minutes, damn. So I'm gonna get right back into this with the weight training part in the next video, okay? So this was, what did I talk about this video? No idea. Sorry about that.